nobody in life can progress in anything they do without struggling at first, no matter if it's physical or mental. You have to put in work and grind on a daily basis or a weekly basis to get better at what you do. Uh, I agree with the quote from Frederick Douglass that says, if there is no struggle, there is no progress. Um, example, or I'm, well, I'm gonna give two examples of how people in life might possibly struggle uh, to progress, and then an example that I had to struggle to progress. Uh, one example, uh, physically, how people might, so, or somebody might have to struggle a little bit to progress is someone that decides to run marathons. Uh, marathons are highly physically demanding, and you have to put in a lot of practice and effort, obviously, running miles and miles to get better at running. So it might not be easy at first, but if you wake up every day and chip away like a few miles in the morning or whatever your routine is, like you'll get better and better as, it, as your career goes on. Um, a, an example of having to struggle mentally is possibly like an, uh, somebody who's starting to play an instrument from a young age, it might not be so easy and having to spend uh, lots of hours with uh, books and just learning with teachers, like it might take a long time um, so yeah, it's not it's not going to be that easy at first. Uh, an example of me having to struggle to progress was on Tuesday with this first speech. Uh, I hated it a lot, but I went home and I learned my lesson. And so now I'm up here longer than 30 seconds. So uh, <laughs> I had to struggle a little bit to progress. And uh, yeah, we did a lot better this time, so that's good. Uh, in conclusion, no matter if the struggle was mentally or physically, or you're just a little scared to get up and talk. Uh, anybody has to struggle to progress, and I agree with the quote from Project Dennis. All right, yeah, I agree, that's better. <laughs> Lots of things are, are good in this situation. Um, I, I think that the quote is clearly identified. You have a perspective that you're taking on this. There's a little bit of a preview, so we know that there are a couple of points that you're gonna make and you're gonna finish with a personal example. That's fine. Uh, the, uh, the points that you have are, are okay. The marathon thing, I think everybody can kind of understand. The musical instrument one, it just seems like it's a random example of something to plug in. I don't know why you picked that. It would be helpful if there was something that you knew something about and you weren't just you know, trying to pluck any idea out. But it was okay. You know, it, it, give, it helps give some structure. And then, you know, the personal experience of what happens in class here and you make a reference to it, I think everybody appreciates that and recognizes that that's exactly what we need to do. Uh, the, the way that people succeed at anything is by engaging in it and practicing it and doing it and making mistakes and learning from mistakes and moving on and, and you you point out the the kinds of things that you're doing here and I, I like especially the time thing that's that works really well in this circumstance um, the uh, visual factors in the presentation you do start off with your hands in your pockets that's a little bit odd I think you immediately realize that you got your hands out of your pocket but they did end up there a couple more times during the presentation and it's still a relatively brief presentation so you're not able to be that casual you know if you're talking for 10 minutes and your hand slips into your pocket uh, a couple of times in a 10 minute period that's not a big deal but when it's happening you know a couple of three times in uh, a two minute span it looks a little weird it looks it's just a, a little bit awkward um, your facial expressions though I think are a little bit more animated you do more looking at the audience which I think is good there's still a, a tendency I think to look in our direction rather than engage us but you're trying I think a little bit more this time to to do those sorts of things and I like the fact that you got to a good point at the in your last example talking about something personal that also gives you a finishing point and it's pretty clear that you're done at that point so uh, you finish making a good impression and that's always a good thing to do if you can finish with a good impression a lot of bad things that happened before seem less important and I think you did a good job on that thank you <laughs>